This is Edward from Hong Kong Excel again. So uh, today I want to share with you all is about the function topic two. Okay, so function. So uh, in MathSL, the uh, question type for functions that will be mainly, uh, I think it will be like five, uh, five major parts. Okay, so the first major part it will be like uh, just inverse function. Okay, and simple uh, composite function. Okay, composite function. And then the second type it will be uh, root questions. Okay, so discriminant b squared minus 4ac okay this is very very important okay so usually like um, you have one question at least okay every year and then the third one would be um, the transformation so transformation is about moving the graph okay so how do you shift the graph and then extend so it will be like a b x plus c plus d right okay so basically my uh, trial lesson uh, you can choose a transformation root or inverse uh, function okay and then I'll explain all the concept for you and the fourth question type will be completing square okay completing square yeah okay and then for uh, the last one it will be rational function domain range rational function domain and range okay so basically functions if you understand all this five major parts okay so my all my five notes then uh there's not there's no a single reason that you cannot score at least a level seven okay because all my student in function test they all got level seven okay so basically um in this video i'll uh, introduce the, the uh, method for completing square okay so for the rest of it then you can just maybe you can just go to um the overseas.vino.hk and then you can just choose a lesson okay uh you can just tell uh, register like uh you want function note one or function note two for a trial lesson okay so in this video i'll review the skill for completing square so many students don't know how to do the completing square or maybe they uh, see the questions uh, asking them to use the completing square method and then they would just skip it around okay so basically uh, completing square is very easy there's only three types okay three types of completing square so let's say if I give you a square plus 4x plus 3 how do you change it to completing square form but first of all you need to understand what does it mean by completing square so a plus b power 2 I know the expan expansion is a square plus 2 a b plus b square right so this is called the expansion this process right so if I go backward I want to change this three things back to one bracket okay then it will be called uh, then this one is called completing the square okay so completing so you make it into one thing one complete whole thing and then you square it right that is called completing square okay but the problem is how do we change it back right so I you cannot just suddenly ch change this one to a bracket right so so basically I just need to know the first two term I assume that to be a square plus 2ab right and I leave it and I leave this one blank and then plus 3 right here so always remember it's plus b over 2 square so this is the number, right? The middle number, right? So, and then I add something in. So it's four over two square. So this one just needs to memorize, okay? So the middle one, four over two square, right? But the equation, you, you cannot just add something in, right? Because you have a cubic balance. So if you add something in, then you have to minus it, right? Okay, so it's x squared plus 4x plus 4 over 2 squared plus 3 minus 4 over 2 squared, right? Okay, so this one you add x squared thing and then we minus it back. Okay, and then it's very, very simple because this three things is a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right? So then you can just change this three things back to one bracket. So a plus b power 2. So a is just x and then plus, okay, it's 4 over 2 is just 2, right? Power of 2. Yeah, and then 3 minus 4, that will be just minus 1. That's it, okay? So this is how you do the completing square. So let me give you one more example. So let's say uh, this time we have x squared plus uh, 6x and then plus uh, 4, okay? So completing square. First, consider two terms, first two terms, right? Okay, and then leave it blank. So here, leave it blank. And then we add something over 2, right? This, that is the middle number, 6 over 2, and then you square it. So if you add extra thing here, then you have to minus it. So 6 over 2 and then square, right? Okay. So then this one, then you will have x plus 3 and then power of 2 and 4 minus, this is 3 square, right? So minus 3 square. So that is minus 9. So that will be just minus 5. Okay. So this is how you do the completing square. Always consider two terms and then you add something in. When you add something in here, then you have to minus. Okay. But... 
if next time I give you the type 2, so this is type 1, okay? So for type 2, it will be like this, 2x squared plus 4x plus 3. And then the type 3, it will be negative x squared plus 4x plus 3, okay? So if you have a number here, if you have a negative number here, okay, how do you solve this, okay? So if you want to know the answer, then you can just uh, go uh, the link below. And then you, when you choose the free trial lesson, then you can choose a completing square, okay? So overseas.vino.hk, okay? So, um, so basically that's it for uh, the video here and then I'll see you next time.